to FNAF News. I'm your host, the TNT Muffin, and today we're going to be talking about Funko, U2's, the FNAF movie, and more. Now, starting off with the U2's news, U2's has just revealed a new pin for DJ Music Man and the Mini Music Man. So this pin is kind of similar to that one they're doing with Gregory and Cassie, where there is this little chain linking the two together, except this time, instead of two, it is three. There's the big DJ Music Man, and he appears to be holding a chain that has two mini music men on top of it. I think it looks pretty good. This is some of our first DJ Music Man merch, and I assume this is going to be releasing alongside that Cassie and Gregory pin. Another thing is that u has revealed a look at their Withered Freddy figure. I think he actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty accurate to Withered Freddy. I was scared they were just going to reuse the regular Freddy, change some stuff up, and call it a day. But this actually looks very similar to Withered Freddy from the game. My only complaint with it really is that I feel like the head's a bit too big and also, you know, the stylized eyes mess it up a little but I really like it. Very excited to see what the other Withered figures are gonna look like. Judging by this one, I think they're gonna be great. I am very excited for that wave to release. Another thing which I forgot to mention in my last news video is that they showed us a look at the Spring Bonnie figure. As you can see, it's Spring Bonnie on the black and white tiled floor, which is pretty cool. I like when they have little bases like that. And as you can see, he has no head. We knew that the Spring Bonnie or Yellow Rabbit figure was gonna have a removable mask so you could have William Afton's face there. We didn't know if it was going to be just a mask you can take off or if it was going to be two separate heads you can swap out. Seems like it's going to be two you can swap out. Along with this, I mentioned in my last news video that they did a poll where people could vote on which character they want slippers of next. I said that I thought Roxy was going to win because that was what was at the time winning in the vote but the winner was actually Freddy. So we will be getting Freddy slippers sometime in the future. I don't know if they're gonna be making the other characters as well, Glamrock, Freddy, and Roxy, but I assume, you know, with how close it was between Freddy and Roxy, we'll probably get Roxy eventually, but for now, it's gonna be Freddy. And then some news on the movie wave here. Apparently somebody asked U2s if they could reveal an image showing the right hand of the mic figure, and they declined that because they're saying it would give away the figure. Now, normally with a figure of Mike, that wouldn't really reveal anything. It would just be a guy's hand. But there is a specific scene in the FNAF movie where if they showed us his right hand, I think it could give away that it is that scene. And that is the scooping or stuffing machine, I guess. Because in that scene, his hands are like strapped down to the chair he's in. So if they showed us a picture of that and we saw the little strap going across his wrist, we would know that's what the figure is. So judging by this, I assume that is what the figure is gonna be. That's what I was really hoping we get a figure of, you know, Mike or the other night guard inside of that torture Freddy machine. And it seems like that is gonna be happening. So I'm very excited to see what that looks like if I'm right about that. Speaking of figures revealed, Good Smile has actually revealed a look at the Freddy Nendroid. I think this looks really good. It's pretty accurate to Freddy. He's got good details on him. I think the eyes look cute. He's got no upper teeth, which is nice to see. The only issue, really, is that his ears, the inside coloration, is like orange for some reason. But uh, I don't know if this is the final design or what. If it is, that's fine. I think still it looks really cool. Also, Nendroids, I don't know if they always do, but at least usually they come with extra faces you can take off and replace. So I'm curious to see what his other faces are going to be. If we're going with the movie, I think it would be cool if they had one with his mouth opened up and a hand reaching through, or they could have one with his face opened up and you can see his endoskeleton. I think those could be cool. I'm very curious to see what they do. But yeah, I really like this. I hope this ends up performing well with sales and they can make more of these guys because I would love to see more characters in this style. Some Funko news is that individual packs of Biddy Pops have been found. As you can see here on the back of it, they cost $4 and there's a 1 in 12 chance of getting any of these 12 characters. So completely random who you're going to get and it appears to be all of the common characters. So if you look at a pack of four of them, the things that we got before. It looks like those are the three you're guaranteed to get and you can't get any of the rares from these individual packs. 
So if you want those other characters, probably better to just get the bigger packs. Don't really see a point in getting these, but if you want them, they are a thing now. Now on to the FNAF movie news. A pretty surprising thing here is that apparently on February 25th, the FNAF movie is going to be removed from Peacock. So Peacock is the streaming service that the FNAF movie released on on opening night of the FNAF movie, and apparently it's gonna be getting removed from there for some reason. Now that's strange to me. Usually streaming services get movies like a couple months after the movie releases. This one seems to be the opposite, where a few months after the movie releases, it's getting removed. Maybe they had a contract for a certain amount of time they could have the movie on there, or maybe people just stopped watching it. I'm not sure how that type of stuff works. Important thing is, it's no longer gonna be on there soon, so if you haven't watched it, and you have Peacock, you're gonna have to watch it soon. And with this, I think it's possible we could get the FNAF movie on other streaming services, you know, like Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Also, the FNAF movie has just recently officially released in Japan, so if you are watching and you live in Japan, haven't been able to see the FNAF movie in theaters, you can now do that. And along with the release of the movie, they released a pamphlet which actually features a Japanese creator, Ishii Nikki. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. So that's pretty cool. They're featured in a section of the pamphlet called FNAF Survival Guide, and they also actually wrote that part of it, so that's pretty neat. I'm not too familiar with this person, but either way, it's still cool to be seeing a creator featured. And with the release of the FNAF movie in Japan, they're going to be opening up a pop-up shop in Japan for the FNAF movie, which is going to be open from February 16th to February 25th. So yeah, if you're a FNAF fan that either lives in Japan or is going to be there between those two dates, you can actually go visit that either now or soon, depending on when this video releases. Another piece of news is that Trends is going to be releasing a poster book, including 12 posters from Help Wanted 2. There's that poster telling you to take off your mask, the Sunny Drop one, the Moon Drop one, Mystic Hippo, Meat Pretzel, Fazer Blast, Carousel, Faz Force, Chica Chowder, Captain Foxy's Cowboy Adventure, Bonkabon, and that Circus Baby Ice Cream one. We got it revealed before that they're going to be making a poster for the Fall Fest one in-game, and I was wondering why they chose specifically that one and not any of the other ones, but I guess that's because the other ones are going to be in this. A lot of posters there, but it's pretty cool. I loved Help 1 and 2, so it's going to be nice to see some in-game stuff in the real world. We also have some news on Help 1 and 2, which is that a physical version of the game is set to release around June 30th. As you can see at the top of the K it says VR compatible and it doesn't say exclusive to VR so it's possible this could include flat mode we know flat mode is supposed to be coming out in the spring this is in the summer so probably will have flat mode but not confirmed and then the last bit of news here is that Franco has just released some bed themed merchandise the first one here is a bed sheet featuring the joy of creation characters ignited Bonnie ignited Freddy and ignited Chica it's pretty funny that one of the first people pieces of Joy of Creation merch we're getting is a bed sheet, but still fanverse merch, so that's awesome. There's also this Nightmare Fredbear pillow, which is terrifying. I don't know why you would want that in your bed. And then also this FNAF bed sheet or blanket. I don't know, same thing. But that is all the news we have today. So if you wanna subscribe, you can click the button on top of my head. If you wanna watch my last news video, you can click that button over there. And if you wanna see some other video I made, you can click that button over there. And I'll see you when we get some more news that you can watch and learn about.